Uh, but another thing that we have to know that we have to ask, I don't want to ask this, but everybody keeps putting this in here. Apparently, we we had the number two pick, and we're looking to maybe go higher. I, uh, I, I don't know about that. We'll see. But look, there are rumors that we might go after that first overall pick. Chicago Bears have it at one. We're at two. There's another question surrounding Chicago Bears that we'll ask a little bit later. Um, but as far as this, is this a rumor? Tell me this is a rumor, Will. Bring him home, Sean. Bring <laughs> him home. <laughs> oh. No, I'm just messing with you. I, listen, we just went over how many holes we have on defense, and we also have to revamp the offensive line. Oh, and we need a starting quarterback. Mm. I don't want to give up the capital that it's going to take to go from two to one. I, you know, I'm hearing it's, you know, it would be at least a first round pick next year, if not more. What if it's two, you know, I don't want us to get in the same situation that Carolina did. I mean, there's a chance, you know, there's no guarantee that these guys want to turn this around in one off season. And so we could be picking top 10 next year. Again, I don't want to be given a top 10 pick to the bears because we went up to go get Caleb Williams. You know, if, if we still have some growing pains with this. So it, Right now, I'm at the point with these three quarterbacks where today, uh, February 14th, I'm okay with all any of them. All three of them I'm okay with. So I don't feel the need to, to go up. Now, let's be honest. History shows itself that when you have multiple quarterbacks, they're not all going to hit. You know, for you're gonna have for every Andrew Luck, you're gonna have an RG3. For every Peyton Manning, you're gonna have a Ryan Leaf. For what did we have the last uh, the couple years ago? For every Trevor Lawrence, you're gonna have a Zach Wilson and Trey Lance Lance. and a Mac Jones and a Justin Fields, maybe, you know. So they're not a sure thing that all three of them are gonna be good. And I get that. So you can't just say, well, we'll just pick one of these three and, and we'll roll with it. But for now. Early on, before all the scouting has happened right now, I'm fine with any of the three, I think, you know, being our quarterback. So I say let's just stay at two and get the guy that we think is the next best. Oh, absolutely, man. I It's – I mean, it just, it's, it's kind of crazy to even think about these rumors coming out because, like you said, I mean, the fact that we're at two says something. I mean, that's that's one thing. We had a crappy season, but still, we're this high up. But then to move up, like you said, the amount it would take to get there, and for what? You know what I mean? That means we must be 100% sold on Caleb, I'm assuming, right. or right. or Marvin Harrison Jr., I don't think that. But, I mean, it means we are 100% sold on one of these guys, and then right. it makes you think, is he the answer? You know what I mean? And, and I guess – it, I can ask the question, is he the answer if I'm getting him at two without having to give anything up, mm-hmm. as opposed to if I'm giving all of this up at one and that to get to one to get him to, OK, here we go again, like you were talking about. And it does go back to the RG3 thing where you give up all that stuff to the Rams and then what happens? Nothing. You know, we I get one building. year of, and, and technically yeah. it was half of a year because we went three and six in the beginning of that year. Yeah we get one year of this guy and then nothing. And we were struggling for the next how many years. And mm-hmm. we get, <laughs> thankfully, cause our team had the foresight or maybe the sabotage to try to get Kirk cousins, you know, since we tried to sabotage ourselves. But I mean, that's why we weren't in too much of a hole. Right. Um, albeit it wasn't pretty all that time. So no, I don't want to go up for right. number one. And I think that's, that's ridiculous. Again, we don't know who's going to be here. We don't know the type of guys we're going to get in free agency. You know, if we're going to look for quarterback free agency or going in the draft. But you talked about it. I've talked about it. I know Ab has. If anything, if we do make any move, it, for me, it would be to go back. And the only reason I would want to go back is so we could potentially a, get a couple of extra picks. But I want to solidify that line. And there's a, there's a quarterback that um, was in the other Carolina that's – it's piquing my interest right about now. He's uh he's got a nice first name. It's a, it should be a last name, but it's all good. And he, he's not rattled. He's not rattled. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe, maybe we can pull back and maybe get him. Maybe he can sit for a year behind the great one. 
<laughs> I'm guessing you're talking about. Are you talking about Spencer? Or are you talking about Drake? I can't tell now. No, no, no Spencer. Wait, I can get Drake it too. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll see about him. Yeah, I will say this one thing. I will say it, the the glass half full thought process. If we go and trade up to number one, that means they have identified the guy that they think is head and shoulders the best one. So if yeah. you're gonna think of it that way, you're you know they have identified that no 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 this is the guy we need for our franchise. And so that would be the way that I you know to spin it to be encouraged by it. Um, but I would hope that we don't draft Spencer Rattler. I'm just gonna tell you that. I'm gonna hope that. <laughs> 